Today, I'm here with my good friend, Frederick Foxtrot, and we're gonna be running my harp through modular synth. So where is the easiest place we can start? Just clouds. Just clouds? Just clouds. <laughs> Perfect. So that was my harp sent through just clouds, but clouds was also being controlled by a few other modules. So with modular synth, there's a bunch of things that are working together as one, and some of these things aren't even effects. They're things that trigger other things. It's a whole big, it's a whole big bundle of stuff, right? That's the best way to explain it, right? <laughs> the most high class educational way to explain it is that, that they all work together and that and that's it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So Frederick, what is that? This is my octopus. It controls my sense. Do you sing help me? Oh, he needs help. <laughs> Tell us how to help you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this module called that you're doing this with? The circuit bent VCO. Okay. And we're gonna play with this now, right? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Alright, let's go ahead and put my chips down. probably wondering how I plug my harp into this giant modular setup. So I plug my harp into the board brain injector to process the harp's audio and to create gates and envelope followers. Board brain also makes some other modules that really help when you're plugging your instrument into your modular setup. They even make some modules that help you connect your pedals to your modules. So now I'm going to plug the bass strings of the harp into the injector to give it some drive. And then I'm gonna take the full harp and use my Dopefer input module to connect it to the mimeophone. And we set this up so that when I pluck a bass string, it reverses the delay on mimeophone. So it goes back and forth. this fairly complicated patch and to boil it down and kind of simplify it there are two main things happening in this patch so the first one is when I play any of these bass strings it's going to trigger a sequence of events and this is not my bass string being processed through any effect pedals or any effects this is actually triggering things to happen so it doesn't really matter what note I play because it's not my notes being processed through something it's just triggering these sounds. Secondly, the full harp is being processed through effects. It's running through a couple different modules, but mostly clouds, because it sounds so good. So these layers work together to sound like this. These two layers work together because just as I'm sending information by plucking a note, I'm also sending information when I muffle. When I pluck a bass note, it's going to freeze the effect on the rest of the harp. And when I want to unfreeze, I'll muffle. So I'm gonna play through this crazy patch now while Frederick hangs out on the couch. This is not a Pokemon, right? No, that, that's a Pokemon. What? Yeah, that's a Pokemon. It's one of the newer ones where they're just objects. <laughs> so here it is. Here's the thing. 
Enjoy it. Thank you so much to Frederick Foxtrot for coming over to our studio and helping us process the harp through this modular rig. Um, thank you so much to Perfect Circuit for sending me some of the modules that you see here. Um, if any of them catch your interest, you can check them out. Perfect Circuit does carry most of them. Um, and thank you to the Octopus for helping us create such a beautiful track. Holy, 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 holy.